Okay, so we're still in the review. We're doing question six. This is the signed rank test, all right? And so um, we're doing a study of the reading comprehension strategies employed by good and average elementary school students. Each group was evaluated on how often it used the different strategies. There's a table that gives the proportion of times the reading group used each strategy. The researchers conducted a will Coxian sign rank test to compare the score distributions of good and average readers. I, I don't actually know why they used a signed rank test for the good and average readers unless they have paired them on some other variable, but this is what they told us to do, so this is what we are doing. Okay, so obviously the probability distribution for good readers should be identical to the average readers for the null hypothesis, that would be the no change. The probability distribution for good readers is shifted to the left or right for average readers because they just say compare. Okay. Now, for each strategy, you want to compute the differences. And so here are the good readers and the average readers. And I computed the differences. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how I got the difference, the absolute value of the difference, and the t test statistic um, in stat crunch. Um, and then we'll look at the rejection region and make an appropriate decision, right? But we need to do the differences and the ranks. All right, so here we go. So here are the good readers. Here are the average readers. This is actually pretty straightforward. I'm just going to go to compute expression. And what I want to do is I want to actually do the good readers minus the average readers, right? And I'm going to click on OK, and I'm going to call that um, difference. And so I click on Compute, and there are the differences. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to I'm going to set this up um, for the um, test statistic. And what I want to do is I'm I'm just going to put positive, negative, 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 positive positive, negative, positive. Okay. Now, once I have these set up for the signs, I need the absolute value of the difference. And so I can again compute the expression. And what we're going to do is ABS is frequently the shortcut for that. I want to do the absolute value of the differences. And then I have to close. Oops. I'm going to close that up. Okay. So the absolute value of the differences is here. I'm going to click on compute. So now I have a positive 14, a negative 0, 07, a negative 0, 07, right? A negative 1, positive 15. Now I need to rank these. Now that the um, I have the absolute value, now it's super easy to rank these, right? So I'm going to compute. Uh, I'm going to compute the rank. Remember, rank is the function of the absolute values of the differences. I'm going to click on OK. And I'm just going to call these the rankings. OK. Um, I don't like calling columns uh, things that are functions. I think sometimes it gets confused. And so you've got now the six, two and a half, two and a half, because these are tied, right, for two and three. So those are both two and a half. Now, the way we've got this set up, it is now really easy to figure out what T negative and T positive is, right? So I can literally do the summary stat of the column of those rankings, and I just need to group it by the sign, and I only need the sums, and I click on compute. Uh oh, I was going to save this. I'm sorry, and I'm going to store this in the table. I click on compute, and you can see now the T negative is going to be 10 and the T positive is going to be 46. All right. So now if I go back, I can see there's my six, two and a half, two and a half, one, seven, five, four, eight, right? There's my, now because it is the shifted left or right, it's the not equal to the not equal to means I need to use T and it's the T of the smaller value. So remember the T of the smaller value was 10. And so that is why the 10 is there. So now we're going to find the rejection region using the 5% level of significance. I see that I have eight paired values. So with the eight paired values, oh, 
Right, so shifted left to right, it's the smaller of t positive or negative. I'm going to move over. Oh. So 8, two-tailed test, 5% significance. My rejection region is going to be 4. So I go, and if t is less than or equal to 4, right, my t is not less than or equal to 4, it is 10. Now, I feel like this is a little confusing because it's the rejection region. And so, like, is the rejection region when T is less than 4, right? Or if, yes, the rejection region is when T is less than 4. T is not less than 4. T is 10. And so I do not reject. Now, if you wanted to, you could go into the non-parametrics, do the signed rank test, the paired samples with good readers and the average readers and it's the not equal to so that's super easy and I can see that the p-value is very large using the normal approximation and so I would not reject that way either All right so that's how you're gonna do the Wilcoxian signed rank test for number six